أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ولا يحزنك قولهم إن العزة لله جميعا هو السميع العليم ألا إن لله من في السماوات ومن في الأرض وما يتبع الذين يدعون من دون الله شركاء إن يتبعون إلا الظن وإن هم إلا يخرصون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم قرآن ميكلي We're on the 11th shows now and this is ayah number 65 and 66. Uh, and I really wanted to actually mostly talk to you about 65 from Surah Yunus, the 10th surah. Allah tells His Prophet وسلم, يحزن, قولهم, What they have to say to you shouldn't grieve you. The thing they say should not grieve you. And what Allah's Messenger is being told وسلم, in these words is that the Prophet will hear things that really hurt him. And Allah says, don't let those things hurt you. You have to become stronger than that. Because if you let those things hurt you, they will demoralize you and you will not be able to do your job. You have to deliver the message of Islam to people. The message of hope. The message of optimism. The message of finding human, letting human beings find their purpose again. If you get demoralized, how will humanity find their mo- morale? How are they going to find their motivation? So you cannot be taken back by the words that they say. And if you think it's insulting uh, to you or to Islam, or to Allah, the things they say, No doubt authority and respect and honor and dignity belong to Allah, all of it. All big dignity, all authority, all respect belongs to Allah. Don't ever think Allah can be disrespected. That's not possible. Because <laughs> Allah owns it. Allah owns it. So don't you worry about it. And it's not like Allah didn't hear what they said. And it's not like Allah doesn't know what they're saying that you didn't even hear. Allah is all hearing, all knowing. Allah gave His Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, clear advice on how to keep moving despite hearing ugly speech. You guys that are on online a lot, some of you are exposed to videos, blogs, you know, comments under YouTube videos that are very hurtful to Islam. They really like. I mean, reading them will just make you feel disgusted inside. How can people say things like that about Allah? about his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam so one thing to not believe in them but the kind of hate and the kind of just aggressive animosity that's just spewing out of people's mouth makes you just go what kind of people are these why would somebody say something like that right it's disgusting and it bothers you but allah is telling his messenger himself cuz if you you are bothered because you have faith our faith can't compare to the faith of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he's bothered by it too and he is told you shouldn't don't let it get to you don't let it get to you. It's not taking away from the dignity of Allah. He owns all of it anyway. So you shouldn't worry about it. And on top of that, he heard what they said. So they will pay. And it's not like Allah doesn't own them. Just like he's your master, whether they recognize it or not, he's their master too. You had better know Allah owns whoever's in the skies and whoever's in the earth. Allah owns all of them. And they will not get away with what they say. They, this is this is something that's not, it's not supposed to interfere with the work that you have to do. When we get influenced by these negative words and this hateful speech, then we become reactionary and all we do is respond to that hate, which means we've already not understood what we are supposed to be doing. You know, the one who is, we are, you know, these, these, this kind of talk, all it is is distraction. That's all it is. And you learning your religion properly and you sharing the truth of that religion with others in a decent way, that is the mission that you and I are on and we have to maintain going on that mission and we cannot let the aggressive and hateful and distracting tactics of those who will hate us no matter what we do no matter what we do we cannot let them distract us from our actual mission just like the prophet is told that he should not be distracted from his mission may allah azza wa jalla keep us on purpose and keep us strong on the on the on the message of islam and not allow us to be taken in by so much hateful speech that is all around us today in regards to our beautiful religion. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.